my name is Rami Ramaha. I'm Director of Product Marketing. So today we're going to switch from, you know, uh, focus on from the land side and look at the users. So the users could be working from the office today and the next day it could be working remote. And as they work remote, we want to make sure we give them secure access to applications, no matter where the applications are. And as they move back and forth between the office and work and remote, we want to make sure we're actually providing consistent policy. So we'll take a look at two things today from our perspective, what something we call the universal ZTNA and secure private access. Okay, um, an SD-WAN is actually a foundational component to make that happen. So SD-WAN has evolved quite a bit since its inception back in 2015. It used to be a point product focusing on transforming the network. Today, it's transforming and securing the network. And moving forward, we're looking at SD-WAN being a critical component to SASE architecture and enforcing ZTNA policy. So what's in the Fortinet secure SD-WAN that makes all that happen? So we have consolidated functions that include SD-WAN, next generation firewall, advanced routing, and the ZTNA application gateway. And all these functions are managed by the FOTI manager that we just heard or you've seen from Raphael. And this is the FOTI gate product. This is the FOTI gate products that can be used as secure SD-WAN, can be used as a next generation firewall. It has a purpose-built ASIC we're one of the few vendors or the only vendor that can actually, actually still build their own ASICs in these type of platforms. Why? Because we're gonna get you the best performance and scale uh, that customers are looking for. Okay. Um, just to level set on the terminologies that we're gonna talk about here. So universal ZTNA, it has three components. It has the agent, the policy engine, and the enforcer of that policy, which is the ZTNA application gateway. You can have users working from anywhere. So these users can be working remote, they can be working in the office, they could be moving back and forth, they could be anywhere. They're accessing applications and these applications can be anywhere. And what we have here in the middle is the ZTNA application gateway. And that's the ZTN application gateway, as I showed in the last slide, previous slide, is actually part of the secure SD-WAN. It's part of the 40 gate product. It enforces the policy. It makes sure, are this, is this user supposed to access that application or not? We'll take a look in more details when Alex comes in and show us what does that policy looks like and how we enforce that policy. On the SASE side, what do we do in there? We have, we deliver, we have cloud delivered security and also cloud delivered networking, which is the SD-WAN. So we have these two components. We have the, the ZTNA, the SWIG, the CASB, the SD-WAN piece, all these pieces together to give users secure access to application, private applications, public applications, the internet, and SaaS applications. Just a high level before I hand it over to Alex to show you what's the programmatic, programmatic approach that we have um, as a journey for users to secure all types of users. So you have users working in the office today, accessing applications anywhere, we offer secure SD-WAN that gives them the best experience. And as we bring remote users on board, we connect them to security service edge, again, to give them that cloud delivered security, accessing any applications, and to access any, to give them secure access to private applications, we connect them to SD-WAN and we do something <coughs> secure private access. Again, we'll take a look at that in the demo. And to provide consistent experience for these users as they move around between the remote office and the on-prem, we enable universal ZTNA on these, uh, on these users, for these users. 
And here, as a, as a last thing, as the end of that journey, we bring in a converged, converging, we are converging remote users and on-premises network, and where we're providing a single vendor SASE. We kept this short because we want to give you more on the demo, see exactly how we are enforcing the policy, what we do on that, how we, how we set up that policy, how we make it seamless for users, regardless where they are, whether they're working remote, whether they're working in the office. I see you have a unified agent. Can you detail out the operating system support for that agent? I'll let Alex comment on this more. Oh, moment, Stan. Uh, so for the agent, uh, we have uh, available for all the major operating systems, obviously Windows, uh, Mac OS, Linux, as well as Android and iOS. So all those platforms you know, uh, are supported for the um, what we call a unified agent, which contains our ZTNA access, our SASE access, as well as our regular endpoint. Okay. So before we get into the how and configuration and all that stuff, I want to understand your architecture. Sure. As in SASE, it's critically important when you talk about hop distribution, when you mm -hmm. talk about feature parity with on-prem, those types of things. Mm -hmm. So let's start with data centers. Where are you guys at? How are you delivering those security solutions? Is it just an extension of your, your 40 OS that you're delivering in a cloud environment, or is that a different you know, style of, of application, those security tools? Um, is there parity? I'm asking you a bunch of questions. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, no, I'm trying to keep track of them all. <laughs> <laughs> is there parity between the on-prem experience and the remote experience, meaning that if I am remote, I get the exact same experience? Mm -hmm. I want to understand the traffic flow, that kind of stuff. So I'm, okay. gonna, I'm gonna leave that open to you. So if you can give okay. me the high level overview of like, how it all works before we get into like how to configure it. That'd be sure. Awesome. And and we're not going to go too much into the configuration okay. because it's you know it's all cloud based. But to answer a couple of your questions, one, the first one I'm going to defer to just a little bit later because it is in the demo. We'll talk about kind of the pops and the distribution of where those okay. things are. Um, but uh, your your question about you know like. You know, what, what is it? Is it the same thing? Is it the same user experience? Yes, our goal for this is to really have the same experience whether you are on-prem on, say, you know, the SD-WAN side of the network or you're coming in remote through the SSE portion, our Fortis SASE. We want the experience to be the same. And, you know, the, the, the components that are in there, if I can just move back one slide, the, you know, having them, having them be two separate things, these, these little purple circles in each one of these cases, yes. each one is running 40 OS. So it's the same 40 OS that we are running on our appliances or our VMs or our containers, whatever it is, same 40 OS that we are running in our cloud. So the, the security and uh, configuration, all that kind of stuff is the same underneath the covers. So, so the, you know, the main, the main difference is, you know, who consumes what and what it looks like is, might be a little bit different, but the end goal is if you have, one or the other or both, we want you to be able to manage it the exact same way. And, and you know, I mean, because that, that makes sense. Because otherwise, if you look at these two different things here, you know, like, you know, the, the cloud of SD-WAN that you may have on-prem and, you know, the various clouds that may, may be out there, if they are not the same thing, you are managing two different sets of security devices. And, and nobody wants to do that. If somebody says, hey, you know, hey, for half of your sites, you're going to use one firewall and half you're going to use the other, that's that's not going to fly with most of the operations folks. So you know, definitely the goal is to bring all of those things together. There was a third question, and I and, and now I forgot what it was. So well, I want to understand some of the traffic flows, traffic right? Flows. Because you know, as um, everyone does this a little bit differently. Mm -hmm. Some people are hundred percent cloud. Yep. You guys have have a really strong on prem. Yep. You know, deployment model with with the the forty eight firewalls and the things that you've done mm -hmm. historically. So help me understand, like you know. You know, if I'm if I'm uh, a remote user going to the internet yep. and I go through the cloud, do I get swig there? If I'm mm -hmm. talking about connecting into my data center, what does that look like? What are some of those flows look um, like? I'll probably talk about that a little bit more when I get to my diagram for the demo. But to to answer your questions very simply is, if you are remote, you know, we don't want to have to force you to go somewhere else other than where you're already going. And, and maybe that's maybe that's the more general statement. If you're already somewhere, go from there to where you need to go. You don't have to, you know, you know. Uh, boomerang from your remote, uh, from your, your on-prem location to the cloud and back just to get to some local resource. That seems to not make sense. Um, a lot of, you know, we, we saw this maybe in the past three, four years where everybody says, we're going 100% to the cloud. And most of the people who said that, they're like, well, we're, we got some things that we need to have local in the data center. And the reality of, of today is that we are in a hybrid world. 
And so you have to handle on-prem things and you have to handle in-cloud things. It's like that's we've we've come to that realization. The same is true for this security services. A lot of people are like, hey, let's go 100% to the cloud. It's like, oh, but I, I have all these, these applications that may live over here. And my diagram will show some of those other ones. But in those cases, um, we don't want you to have to go to the cloud in order to get there. Unless maybe you're already remote and maybe the cloud's a good way to get you back into your local network. Hey, we'll utilize everything we can to make the experience the best for the end users. One thing I want oh. to add, because I think one thing that you ask was very interesting is the workflows for secure web gateway and all. Mm -hmm. I want to make it clear that unlike the way most vendors talk about SASE, what Fortinet's viewpoint is, that Fort is SASE that will show you has all functionality from secure web gateway, firewall as a service, whether it's IPS, sandboxing, URL filtering, all of this is available. So when user connects to the 4D SASE, they can choose one, they can choose all. There are no different licensing for that. It's They have an ability to do all the inspection before they go out to the SaaS application or their private applications, right? And that's really useful because the same 4D OS, mm -hmm. the services are the same. Okay. And just to, just to follow up on that, every service therefore available in every pop since it's all built on top of 40 OS? Exactly. Whether you are an on-prem, whether you're in data center or in our SASE or in multi-cloud, it's running the same services, same software. And remember I talked about those AI powered services, they apply at same time across all of those deployment also. So when there is a new threat emerge and if you need to provide the update, mm -hmm. everyone gets at the same time rather than they have an inconsistent security policies. Yeah, thank you. That's great. Okay, so um, I just want to, maybe that's that's the diagram we're talking about the SASE, just quickly. I know we went through this quickly because I'm, you know we want to focus on the demo. Just reiterating what uh, Rob was saying on Alex. So you'll see in the SASE pops, you have all the cloud delivered security from the SWAG, the ZTNA, what have you, but also we have the SD-WAN capabilities. And again, it's everything is based on the 40 OS and be managed by the same management. 